And we are back once again with Slime Isekai Memories. Today, we are here continuing the story once again in Chapter 14. Uh, this time, things got a little better. We made it back to Tempest. And now we're just securing everything. Uh, what's her name? Um, Mulan? Mulan? Want to show us something of a horrific scene. So, we'll see uh, what this horrific scene is right now. Damn, even some kids were killed. What is this? What happened here? Are they all dead? The humans were merciless. Humans? We did just as you ordered, Great Rimuru, and welcomed the humans. But as a result... You fool! How dare you imply this is somehow Great Rimuru's fault? Please, forgive me. What I said. My own words. There are three rules. I like you to uphold them. At the very least, first, no attacking humans. Yeah, in in hindsight, it's like, like why did he specify just attacking humans? So it means you could have attacked any type of creature, just not humans. So it means you could have attacked dwarves, you could have attacked dragons, goblins, orcs, orcs, anything. But just as long as they're not humans, just kind of questioning that one. Second, no fighting among yourselves. Third. No belittling other races. All I ever want to do was try to get along with humans. Please, explain yourself, Mulan. If I hadn't used the great magic, this might not have happened. So, she's the cause of all this. In that case, I shall avenge them. Yeah, that was that really wasn't an explanation. She she just kind of explained what happened there, but she didn't explain why she did it. No, the great magic, anti-magic area alone could not cause this degree of weakening. Calculations indicate that more than likely caused to be the humans that you instructed the individual soy to investigate. That's right. I need to calm down. Is this Mulan woman trying to anger me? So I'll kill her and no one else? To protect Yume and Grucius? I hear. I'll hear what you have to say. Come. If this hadn't weakened us, Hakaru wouldn't have lost. Lost? Hakaru lost. He was severely wounded, but he will recover. Princess Shuna is treating both him and Gobbit, who was wounded just as severely. I see. As the knights from Falmoth were leaving, The city has been contaminated by monsters. As the protectors of humanity, we must ne never recognize a nation of monsters. Therefore, we will consult with the Western Holy Church regarding what must be done about this nation. We will return one week from today. Why even declare your plans to your enemies? Like, that seems like a dumb move. Under the command of the great and renowned king Endemus himself, 
it would behoove you to surrender and swear allegiance to him. If you refuse, I shall eradicate every last one of you in the name of God. What a farce. Yes, it is precisely that. The Western Holy Church and the Kingdom of Alma must have been colluding from the start. I'm betting the church has its has it in for us because their doctrine doesn't condone the existence of monsters. But then, what's the kingdom of Falmos reason? Great Rimuru, may I? A new trade route is coming into existence with Tempest at its center, bringing about drastic changes in commerce. And. Trade routes are crucial. Simply imposing tariffs creates a potential for, for immense profit. The Kingdom of Falma profits so much from trade that has been called the gateway to the Western Providence. So, a profit from Tempest means a loss for the Kingdom of Falma. Now I get it. I've been playing with fire, and I didn't even realize it. Yes, sir. Could you update the Kingdom of Blamoth on Tempest's current situation and approach, and approach of the large army of Falmoth as soon as possible? Of course, I, I will impress them upon them what Tempest is in the right. Thank you. I'll start getting ready at once. Now, as for me, as for you, Mulan, why don't you tell me in detail about why you messed with us? Mulan. It's all right. I have nothing to hide. I am Mulan. I served Demon Lord Clayman. Damn, it took her a while to say that. It's like the parentheses to her saying it was like a good 10 seconds. A Demon Lord? I see. So, Clayman is the one pulling the strings. Ask yourselves, but find no answers. Interesting title. The Demon Lord Clayman lives up to his alias, the Marionette Master. By controlling his subordinates' actions, I myself was one of them. The task he gave me was to investigate Tempest as a spy, so I used Yum to infiltrate this town. I understand that I've been a fool, but Clayman took my heart with me. With this secret art, Marionette Heart. He literally holds my life in his grasp. Ever since then, my only means of survival has been to obey him. Hmm, so that's why you activated the great magic spell. Also, it's like, why wouldn't he just kill her right now? I'm pretty sure it's like earlier they mentioned that he's able to listen in on literally everything she does. So I mean it's like why wouldn't he just crack just destroy that right now while in the while they're in the middle of the meeting. Even before the meeting began. It's like, oh, you're captured? Good, you're gone. Yes. He said he would release me if I did, though I didn't really believe him, but yeah, it, it's like it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't. He, he says he'll release her, but 
you know, he's not. He's like, one more thing, and then one more thing again, one more thing a third time. But let's like, if he don't, he might just, might as well kill her. Clayman said this to me. Things are about to get interesting, though there have been some unforeseen developments. A great war is going to break out. I thought he was referring to Demon Lord Milum and Carrion at first, but it seems what he meant was a war between Tempest and Falmoth. I see. Clayman. He controls his pawns as he wishes to avoid getting his own hands dirty. He's gonna be trouble. She appears to be a wizard in the anti magic area. She's just an ordinary human. Has she been used as a sacrificial pond? Master Rimaru, please forgive Mulan. I'm begging you too. She couldn't defy Lord Clayman, that's all. I'll put uh, Milan's punishment on hold for now. She'll be confined in the reception hall th until then. Understood. I will assign the guards. Master Rimaru. Sorry, you. My head's all over the place right now. If you're worried, you're free to stay with her. Is that it for your report? If so, I'd like to go visit the wounded. Take me to them. How's he doing? Great Rimaru. His wounds. Can you heal them with a uh, healing potion? The potions aren't working since their wounds were caused by skills of a spiritual nature. My treatments don't work directly on them. I see. Great Rimuru, do not worry. Neither I nor this fool pupil of mine are so weak as to die from wounds such as these. Hey, I'm not worried. Let me take a look at that wound. Also, like, I've looked at some of his, like, light novel slash manga look. I do not like Hakaru's, like, manga look at all. I think whatever, like, goatee or, like, mustache he has there looks absolutely terrible on him. Like, he, he looks more like a middle-aged man in the manga or stuff, but, but I kind of like his like semi old look here he's not like super old but he's not too young to like pull off that terrible mustache great rimaru i can control uh, spiritual techniques so i might be able to do something how about it great sage effects of the Spatial technique confirmed. Would you like to predate this effect using gluttony? Yes. Did it work? Yes. Bird, take care of Gobot too. Oh, great Rimuru has done it again. Thank goodness. Huh? I'm alive. Great Rimuru, welcome back. Sheesh. You're okay too, old man. I mean, master. I'm glad you're alright. Who you calling old man? <laughs> By the way, where's Shion? I haven't seen her since I got back. 
Hey, she didn't go off to get her revenge by herself, did she? Knowing her, I wouldn't be surprised. Ha 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 ha. Um. Great, Rimaru. Also, I found this part a little weird. He like... Uh, wait, I guess I'll wait. Please follow me. Okay, now, now I can say it. But it's like, he didn't expect all the dead. He just like, saw the like, big pile of bodies and and then got mad. But he didn't like, look at everyone before making a judgment call on, damn, this is super bad. Gobuts. Gobuts, no! Goddamn. Gobuts as voice actor. Re really put it in his work. Shion tried to protect the Jiao. Our attackers came after. Weakened by the barrier, she. Gobbles uh, was protecting me. The attackers were laughing as they. <laughs> it's gonna be a little filler battle. Fighting his insides, dots. Ooh! That's actually a badass look. Dark Rimaru. Like, not even, like, it's not even his, like, demon form. It's an actual dark Rimaru. That's actually really cool. Oh no, it's a binding attack. What the hell is this? Poisoned bind status. Do I have any guys that can resist bind? Oh well. Uh, I guess I'll switch. Nope! I can't even switch. You bastard! I guess I just have to survive this. Damn. So, two more turns. You bastard! I hope this guy doesn't, like, keep doing bind to us. I swear to you, as soon as we're out of it, we're beating your ass. Damn it, you have to hit Shuna. Incoming stun in Oh my god, this asshole, I swear.
I can't do anything. I wasn't prepared for all of this. Okay, only him. Don't, don't attack Karu. Fuck, he healed! I thought this battle was almost over. No! You bastard! Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go with that. Let's go with this. Okay, this should finish him. Just die, you bastard. He, he may have a really cool design, but he still needs to die. Jeez. The, the one thing uh, the story mode does do is make like, I don't know, interesting battles, but like tough for no reason. Because I, it's like, damn, I wish I knew how to counter them. Great Rimuru. Sorry, I need to be alone for a while. Very well. Please call me at any time. I will be here at once. Also, I think this this like put a lot of wood, a lot of fuel for the Shuna and Rimaru ship. Because this is like a very sweet moment. It's like she stands out above all of them, uh, lending out a helping hand to him to feel better. Notice, a very strong aura exerts pressure on a weakening monster. That's right, the mask. Is the analyst done on the magic suppressing mask? It is complete. Replicate the item? Thank you. Why did this happen? Cannot calculate. What should I have done? Cannot comprehend. Was it a mistake to get involved with humans? Cannot answer. Tell me, was I wrong? Cannot calculate, cannot comprehend, cannot answer. All these intense emotions are raging in my head, but at the same time, I'm painfully calm. I can't even shed a single tear. Oh, I get it. I become a monster at heart too. Fairy tale. What did we do wrong? Are they subjugating us just because we're monsters? And if so, are they prepared to have the same done to them? Great Rimuru. 
Soy? Forces are camped around Tempest on all sides. They seem to be the ones generating the monster weakening barrier. Got it. You should all take a break too. But... That's an order. Get some rest. Completed. Analytical appraisal of the multi-layer barriers surrounding the town, as well as the great magic anti-magic area. Removal of the multi-layer barrier is difficult, but the great magic can be undone. Undo the magic? Not yet. If we can get rid of the great magic, there's no point. A multi-layer barrier? Seems like it's some annoying properties. Have you got the results on the other search I had going? Search results unavailable. Could not locate magic with the ability to fully revive the dead. Well, I guess I should have known. Even magic isn't that convenient. Damn, is this power just coming out so much that he's literally breaking the mask? All I ever wanted was to spend time having fun with all of them. But I guess that dream wasn't possible now. I can't stay here like this forever. Pat. Pat. Thanks for coming. Give me a moment. I need to lay them all and rest inside of me. Listen, the odds are pretty low. In fact, they might be basically zero, but still. That, there's a fairy tale about bringing the dead back to life. Aaron, could you tell me more about it? I like, th I like that she has that smug smile. Once, there was a dragon princess, the daughter of a human and a dragon. One day, her dragon father made a body double of himself. And gave it to her as a companion. In the form of a baby dragon. But then, it was killed by a king who wanted to control the dragon princess. The girl went mad with pain and grief and rage. With the power she had inherited from her father, she destroyed the king along with the entire nation, including tens of thousands of people. Then the girl transformed into a demon lord. When she did, the baby dragon miraculously came back to life. But since it had lost its soul when it died, it came back as an evil monster with no will of its own that destroyed everything in its path. The Chaos Dragon. Though it hurt her deeply, the girl sealed away her once beloved companion. That was the first thing she accomplished upon becoming a demon lord. That's awfully specific for a fairy tale. So, they evolved, huh? Also, um, it's like 
I'm pretty sure it's like he could have guessed who the girl was since since it's like a girl, not a woman. And he knows a demon lord. And that is very girl-like. And that's kind of has some dragon features. Or at least just names a lot of stuff dragon. It's true that monsters evolve for unknown reasons. All I did was name them and things got crazy. Maybe. Just maybe. If I could become a demon lord, maybe they could evolve and come back to life. Like that girl's pet in the fairy tale. Yep, no he doesn't. But there's no point if they come back to life without a will of their own. No, wait. What if the souls of the dead are being held here, inside this barrier? Great Sage? Answer. The probability of the souls, individuals, Shion and the other monsters still present is 3.14. The same value as pi. That's pretty low, but no. It's the opposite. I should think of the whole 3% chance of reviving them instead. As a whole 3% chance. Stubborn Shion and that idiot Gobos. There's no way they would die like that. Not on my watch. Great Sage. Could I become a demon lord? Answer. At this time, the conditions to evolve into a demon lord are met. The nourishment required to evolve into a true demon lord. Huh? Is estimated that a necessary number of sacrifices would total over 10,000 humans. That's simple enough. A demon lord? Sure, I'll become one. Great Rimaru. What is this, Soy? I have a, a report from one of our men from distant from here. The combined number of Falma and the West Holy Church are advancing on our territory. They are about 20,000. I see. That's perfect. Like, damn, he just got some evil eyes. Some anime protagonist eyes. It's like, haha. <laughs> just the right number I need. I can become two demon lords. It's perfect? Never mind. It's nothing important. I'm just relieved to hear that there'll be enough of them. Thanks for telling me this, Aaron. It's okay. But are you sure it's okay? You basically told me to become a demon lord. To tell you the truth, my real name is Irion Grimwald. My blood connects me to the royal family of sorceresses in the dynasty of Sarion. You're a princess. We left our country with Princess Eren as our guards. You did? Sorry we didn't tell you. I've always wanted the freedom of adventuring, so I left my home country. So, are they elves too? Or is it just her? But only a few people in Serion know the fairy tale. If you become a demon lord, 
they might realize that I had something to do with it. But that's fine. But that's fine, and I want to save the people of this city too. I just can't condone what Falmouth has done here, the Western Holy Church are doing. But still, she just condemned 10,000 people to die, if not more. I don't know, it's like, it's like your responsibilities and like, uh, morals really have to be skewed to be like, yeah, about 50 people died here, so 10,000 other people die, even if they are soldiers, have to die for these 50 people to live. And I may have just created just one of the beings that may destroy a lot more people. I don't know. It seems, it seems just as bad. Like to say one is morally correct. Like he's literally getting revenge. So I don't know. If that's how you feel, Princess, we have no objections as your guards. Of course. I envy you. You have such good friends. Yes, if there's anything we can do, just let us know. You're always doing so much for us. It'll be our turn to do all we can do for you. Thanks. I decided to save Shion and Gobuza and all the other friends who were killed. If I have to become a demon lord to do it, then so be it. There's still some time before the force of Falmoth arrive in Tempest. Alright, well, that's where I'll end it here for today. Uh, yeah. Things are starting to conclude. I would say we probably have at least one more episode in us before we finish the story for now and it'll probably end where season 2 part 1 ended I would have to say at this current pace so with that I hope you guys enjoyed Slimy Sakai Memory if you guys did please make sure to follow me on all my social medias like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLive make sure to like and comment on everything and uh, you've joined my Discord there, you can stay up to date on anything I choose to do, West Machines, videos, or anything else. But yeah, hope to see you guys next time. Bye!